Hello, my name is Stephen Redman and welcome to Pastors Library. This is the channel where we discuss everything to do with theology books, be they books on a reading list for your seminary course, or your bachelor's or master's degrees, or whether you've just seen them on a bookshelf at a friend's house or at your pastor's home and you want to know more. If you like what I have to say today, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube, please click subscribe and click on the bell, and that way you'll be among the first to know when we release another episode of Pastor's Library. Today I want to talk about a particular writer, a writer who I'm not quite sure if he might probably qualify as the most prolific of our age. He has a sort of a split personality, does this author, in that he has two different names. And in fact, recently, uh, so someone thanked me for telling them that actually these two names were the same person. I am, of course, talking about N.T. Wright and Tom Wright. And what I have to say today is about the two of them, their split personality uh, in all its glory. Tom Wright is the name that N.T. Wright uses when he is trying to write a more popular book, whereas N.T. Wright is the uh, name he uses when he is writing a purely academic book. I can see on my bookshelf, uh, which has, um, I think at the moment, 48 books uh, written by the two of them, uh, that uh, he, he clearly uh, is doing that quite well. Now, Tom Wright is from an Anglican persuasion, and I have never been from an Anglican persuasion, so I don't regard him because of the great heights he's risen to in the Church of England, but I do regard him for the great impact he's had on modern theology and the great thorough way he approaches his subjects. Recently, I was referred to um, uh, a section on YouTube which showed uh, somebody uh, calling Tom Wright a heretic. I think it's sad that we get to a point where we talk about uh, academics in that way uh, because academics are very often pushing our thinking uh, to stretch it to say, have you thought of this? I don't think Tom Wright uh, or N.T. Wright has in any time tried to um, change people's hearts and minds to a non-scriptural point of view, but he clearly does have his own uh, considerations which are out of a long time of uh, deliberate study and uh, writing. I don't know how many books he produces, but it is certainly more than one a year. He's also a great contributor to journals. When I look at my bookshelf, besides the almost 50 books I've got of his, uh, I have a number of books to which he has contributed. Whatever your wild or crazy or non-experience is of N.T. Wright, uh, then today I would just say, let's consider him together and see where he might help us. Now, I have listened to N.T. Wright on video courses, and I have to say to you personally, I don't find him as easy to listen to as I find him easy to read. Now, that's probably just me, but I find him uh, a delight to consult on the page. But I, I don't always find him easy to follow uh, when he's speaking. So I just offer that to you as an opinion. As a pastor, I am always saying to myself, that's it, Stephen, you're not buying any more books. Uh, we're just going to survive on journals. And I personally do appreciate uh, what the journals have to offer us, and I'm grateful for them. And so when uh, Tom Wright brought out uh, three hardbound books, which kept coming a very attractive cover, I think I paid about £80 for the three of them when they first came out. These books are a collection of journal articles that he has produced over the years. And um, this, this one is called Interpreting Scripture, and it's essays on Bi the Bible and hermeneutics. 
and it's got um, uh, 22 um, articles in here that are being reproduced. Now, th these are a breath of fresh air. If I wanted to um, buy journal articles that had NT Wright in them, I, I would probably see be subscribing for years to get anywhere near uh, 22 articles. But here in this one book, I have got 22. And um, I have to say, I have found this very interesting indeed. Uh, there's um, a section um, on the Lord's Prayer as a paradigm for Christian prayer. Um, there's a section on joy. Now, I, I thought what an excellent idea for a, a journal article for um, uh, the kingdom, uh, mission and theology. All of these are well thought out, great articles. And the other two books that came in the package are Interpreting Jesus, Essays on the Gospels, and Interpreting Paul, Essays on the Apostle and his Letters. And you might think, oh, well, N.T. Wright just were, writes about Paul. Well, if you see this book, you will see immediately of the three of them, it's the thinnest. And whereas it still has some very good articles in here, uh, don't be um, led, misled to believe that uh, N.T. Wright's focus is only on Pauline studies. Ultimately, his focus is just, is, is more on Jesus, actually. And um, I would say to you that the first times I met uh, N.T. Wright and his studies uh, were actually um, when I was doing my degree and I bought two books, Jesus and the Victory of God and the Resurrection and the Son of God. And these books, which are both N.T. rather than Tom, uh, are both highly academic uh, they're both huge volumes. These are really books that you can wedge your door open with um, and a heavy door at that. Um, one of them's 800 pages, the other one's 740 pages. But they both offer great levels of insight into our Jesus and particularly into the resurrection. And, and I have to say to you, the resurrection and the Son of God I think is a classic work. I really do. Whatever you think of N.T. Wright, I think these books are classic works that should probably be on every pastor's bookshelf. Anyone that's studying Jesus, uh, those two books are absolutely brilliant. To get back to Paul for a moment, um, one of his more recent books is Paul of Biography. Now, I thought what a brilliant idea for a book. And of course, it is absolutely excellent. You read this and you almost feel um, you are reading a popular biography. And of course, this is written by Tom rather than NT. So this is not aimed uh, as an academic work, although I am quite sure you could quote it in essays. But it's a brilliant book and it will take you on, as it says on the back, as the chief rabbi of the day said, an enthralling journey into the mind of Paul. Um, and it's a very fast paced book as well. Um, another quite recent book uh, is The Day the Revolution Began. And this is really uh, about the death and resurrection of Jesus and particularly how the cross can have such an impact on 2.3 billion people worldwide. It engages with some of the puzzles of the scripture and it really, I would suggest to you, if you think you know everything about the cross, read this because you will learn things. Uh, it's a very, very good book. And again, it's a Tom Wright. Um, I have done uh, a pastor's library on Tom Wright's The Bible for Everyone, uh, which are some entry level commentaries, uh, which proves he can write at entry level and he, he can, does it very well, which of course led to the production of the New Testament for everyone, uh, which is his own 
translation. And I have lots of other books I could wave at the air in the air at you and talk about, but I, I, there's just one more that I want to raise today. And um, it's a book he wrote jointly with Michael Bird. Now, Michael Bird, we'll talk about him at another pastor's library, I'm sure. But Michael Bird is a, a very profound theologian. And the two of them, uh, despite uh, Michael's Australian accent, uh, have got on very well. And they produced a video course, which also has this great big accompanying hardbound book, which is um, 990 pages or thereabouts long. A fantastic book uh, talking about the context of, of the New Testament, the world into which the New Testament was born. And this book is absolutely brilliant. Incidentally, the video course, which uh, you can do in your house groups or churches, is absolutely brilliant. And I highly commend that to you. But this book is for the serious pastor theologian, student. This is for the person who really wants to see and know uh, what the context of our New Testament Bibles was. And, and I cannot rave about this enough. It's an absolutely brilliant book. As a book that was only uh, brought out in 2019, um, it, it really is a book that has something to offer, bang up to date, a great academic standing, a really excellent contribution to our bookshelves. So in a few minutes, I suppose that's mainly what I want to introduce you to uh, with N.T. Wright stroke Tom Wright. He's got a whole uh, wealth of video courses, which there are a company promoting those who once you get on their email list, uh, they'll be bobbing up and down in your email uh, list every week. Um, but they offer good value courses which are meaningful and helpful. And uh, there are a great deal of opportunities which his publishers take to bring out a new book, uh, which may well be uh, brought in from other things he's done, maybe lectures he's given that are converted into books. And he has a, a book that's a, sort of a that devotional book for every day and so on and things like that. And I would suggest to you those books are not really defining books. They are just books that are as well as, uh, that have been brought out because he has got so much material there. But I would suggest to you that if we didn't have N.T. Wright in our world, this world might not be as clear as it is. And, and thank God for him. And if for some reason you object to him, well, God bless you. All I'm saying is I think this guy has contributed to the breadth of modern theological writings. And he is very evangelical, very focused on the Word of God and the validity of the Word of God. And I've never personally seen him uh, say anything that uh, looked to me like it was heretical, but maybe you've heard him uh, in a way that I haven't. But I commend him to you. I think he's got a lot to offer. Let me suggest to you, uh, N.T. Wright and Tom Wright both have uh, something to contribute to our libraries at home or in the office. So I hope you've liked that. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click on the bell. And that way you'll be amongst the first to know that we've released another episode of Pastor's Library. God bless you and thank you for listening. Bye.